This video was brought to you by... Welcome to part three of sheet metal art for beginners. In case you missed it, in part one, I showed you just how easy it is to take 3 8 inch solid round bar and bend up all these cool shapes. In part two, we took some 18 gauge sheet metal and I showed you just how easy it is to start skinning out your frame. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to grind, texture, and finish your first project. Sheet Metal Art For Beginners By Mitchell Dillman We're going to be using a variety of flap discs and grinding pads. To start, we're going to use this 36 grit abrasive disc. Begin by removing the excess weld layer by layer. It's much like sanding wood. You start with a heavy grit, working your way to a fine grit. So that's one option. You can also use these basic grinding wheels. Here, I'll show you how this works. And remember, this guard is there for your safety. As you grind, position your piece to reveal the shadow line cast by the weld. Grind your weld flush, being careful not to cut into the shadow. Well, I think you can see it just takes a little time and patience. But if you're ready to upgrade your metal shop, you want to check out this multi-tool from tricktools.com. Check this thing out. This versatile tool removes material up to five times faster than that little four and a half inch angle guy. So once we get it to this stage, it's time to switch over to our flat disc. We're gonna start out with this 80 grit. So now, we blend our weld with the sheet metal. So this is the time you can really start to think about how you're going to finish and display your new sheet metal masterpiece. Alright, so it looks like we've got all these seams grinded out. Next step, let's get this thing textured. So when it comes time to texture your sheet metal, it's all about patterns. And you can achieve those patterns using a lot of the same tools we used on our angle grinder to clean up the welds. You can use a flat disc with 120 grit to polish your metal. Or you can go back to your abrasive grinding disc to achieve a much more heavy texture. Remember, it's all about having fun. You can use anything you've got. Try your wire wheel. I think that'll work. The facts are, anything abrasive will work. You're simply trying to scratch the surface of the metal. Let's try this quick strip disc. Just trying to demonstrate some different ways to do it, you know. All right. So once you're finished with your texture and you're happy with it, it's time to start thinking about how you're going to finish your piece. And to finish your piece, you've got a lot of options. Of course, we could take this over and get it powder coated, or we could even get it plated. But because this is sheet metal art for beginners, we're going to keep it simple. Today, we're going to show you how we can use a variety of different spray paints to finish your piece. 
But before you get started with any of these paint products, we want to thoroughly clean and prep our piece with this TSP substitute. This product cleans and degreases your metal prior to paint or clear coat. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get a professional looking finish using any of these spray products. When spray painting and airbrushing, always maintain a consistent pace and distance from your piece. You don't have to fully paint your piece, you may choose to lightly tint it to see through to the texture. And you don't have to limit yourself to just one shade. Experiment with different colors and layers of color. So since we painted this one with multiple layers, we'll head on over here and finish it up with the grinder. Well, looks like this one's ready for its final clear coat. You need to be sure to come back next time and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make a variety of these wooden bases for your new sheet metal art. Cool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about MIG welding or sheet metal art for beginners, be sure to come see me live over at Google Helpouts. And if you're interested to see the details about how I made this project, be sure to click this link right here. And all of these original works are now available at MitchellDillman.com. Be sure to click the link in the description box below.